Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to everyone. Today, we are going to continue our lesson on topic 1 at school. Here are the objectives for today's lesson. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to name an object using the phrase this is my and describe the colors of an object using the phrase it's. Okay, so before we dive into our lesson today, let's do a quick revision on our previous lessons. Remember, this is an interactive video. You need to answer all my questions loudly and clearly. Are you ready? What's this? It's a pencil case. Good. What color is it? It's blue and red. What's this? Yes, it's a ruler. What color is it? It's yellow. What's this? It's a book. What color is it? It's blue. Next, what's this? Yes, it's a pen. What color is it? It's red. Okay, next. What's this? It's a rubber. What color is it? Yes, it's red and blue. Well done. Now you are ready for our new lesson. This is my. This is my. Repeat after me. This is my. You use the phrase this is my when you want to name something nearby that belongs to you. The word this shows that the object is with you or close at hand. And the word my shows that it belongs to you. I've got a pencil. This is my pencil. So, you use the phrase this is my to name something that is yours and it is near you at the moment. To help you understand better, let's take a look at these examples. This is my This is my pencil This is my rubber This is my ruler This is my sharpener this is my glue. Now, you will practice naming the objects with the phrase This is my by looking at the pictures. Are you ready? Make sure your voice is loud and clear. This is my box.
This is my rose. This is my vest. This is my shirt. This is my cup. This is my pencil. This is my bicycle. This is my ear. Good job! So, we have learned how to introduce or name something that belongs to us. Now, let's tell more about these objects. Let's talk about their colors. When you want to talk about the color of an object, we use the phrase it. The word it comes from the phrase it is. We can shorten it by adding apostrophe s after the word it. So, it is becomes its. Don't worry, both are correct. Okay, now let's take a look at some objects and tell their colors. Look at the color of this notebook. It's Yes, it's red. It's It's green. Next. It's It's yellow. What about this one? It's it's purple. Next. It's. It's blue and pink. What about this desk? It's. It's green and orange. Lastly, what about this chair? It's. Yes, it's green and brown. Practice. Okay, now you will say the colors of the objects shown on your own. Don't forget to add its before you say the colors. It's red. It's blue. It's green. Good. It's yellow. Correct. It's black and white. It's orange and pink. It's brown and purple. 
Brilliant. Okay, so now you have learned two phrases. Why don't we try putting them together? Listen carefully. This is my car. It's pink. This is my house. It's blue and orange. This is my bicycle. It's green and white. Practice. Now, can you guess what these people are saying? Can you guess what the baby says? Yes, the baby says, this is my ball. It's black and white. Now, can you guess what the man says? Yes, the man says, this is my cap. It's brown and blue. Now, can you guess what the teacher says? Correct. She says, This is my pencil case. It's green and yellow. Now, can you guess what the grandma says? Yes, the grandma says, this is my armchair. It's brown and yellow. Okay, lastly, can you guess what the cat says? Actually, the cat just meows, but if you translate it into our language, it says, this is my cushion. It's pink and purple. Okay, I hope you understand today's lesson well. If you do, that means you are ready for the written exercise. Turn to the English section, page 3 and 4 in your PDPR module. Page 3. Read the text and rewrite the text in the space provided. For the reading part, you can read aloud on your own or if you want to share your reading session with me, you can record your video or your voice and send it to me. For the writing part, please write in the correct lines. Write carefully so you don't misspell any word or miss any punctuation marks especially capital letters, full stops, and apostrophes. Okay, now let's take a look at page 4. Fill in the blanks and color the pictures correctly. Here, you need to decide on the colors of the objects for each question. Fill in the blanks with the name and colors of the objects and color the objects accordingly. I hope you can do it. Alright, that's all for today's lesson. Thank you and see you next time.